square. You'll have an adventure if you dare. The best cowboy in the West. They say Rizzo is the best of all the cowboys in the West. He raises horses with horns and flapping wings. And he'll tell you with a grin that he rides faster than the wind. But I think that he exaggerates these things. Word spread around the town that a horse of some renown escaped his stable and had broken free. The mayor said, A hundred gold to any cowboy that is bold enough to bring my stallion home to me. The best cowboys in the land agreed to lend a helping hand for a chance to prove they're better than the rest. There was Melody and Gubbins on a stout pony called Nubbins and Dewey in his famous jeweled vest. Then there was Molly who was always nice and jolly. They say she can lasso any beast she sees. There was Strawberry, of course, riding Licorice the horse, who could outrun any other horse with ease. So the cowboys took their reins and they rode across the plains till they found the valley where the wild horses fly. And leading that battalion was the mayor's cherished stallion who was running wild and free under that never-ending sky. Molly hollered good and loud, Yee-haw! and charged out from the crowd, but the stallion dodged her lasso and took flight. The other cowboys stormed ahead, but Rizzo hung back instead, watching and waiting until the time was right. Though his legs were short, Nubbins was nothing of the sort. He kept pace with the wild horses as they raced away. Try as Melody might, she and Gubbins had lost sight of the stallion in the wild, confusing fray. Dewey tried a different tack and hopped onto the stallion's back, but he lost his grip and fell onto his face. The herd ran away and thought they may have won the day, but Licorice, quick as lightning, matched their pace. The valley shortly ended, where a great mountain ascended, and the stallion had nowhere left to run. The wild horses, undeterred, took flight like giant birds and disappeared into the glowing sun. From his vantage point up high, Rizzo saw the herd fly by, and he followed on his own winged steed. But those wild horses rule the sky, and though Rizzo sure might try, it's hard to keep up with their sonic speed. The stallion dipped and swooped, and he flew in loop the loops but Rizzo stayed with him right behind. The stallion hid among the crowd as they flew into a cloud. Brave Rizzo followed after, nearly blind. Through the whirling haze, Rizzo met the stallion's gaze, and the horse knew that he wouldn't get away. Quicker than a flash, Rizzo flew right past and hopped up on its back without delay. He led the horse through the air, down into the old town square. The cowboys couldn't help but be impressed. The mayor said, the legend's true. You're a hero through and through. Rizzo, the greatest cowboy in the West. <laughs>